Hello, this is the Radio Geek. I'm here to show you a little something here I've had for quite a while here. Just decided to get it out uh, tonight and uh, play with it a little bit. It's a little um, uh, shortwave radio kit. It's by the um, Crystal Radio Society. Um, Extol uh, Radio Society, I guess. Uh, its uh, website is uh, www. Uh, midnightscience.com and these kits are, are pretty reasonable it's just one little circuit board and it's got the the uh, diode there germanium diode um, a couple of inductors and uh, some capacitors and some uh, clip leads to uh, put your antenna on your ground and then your um, earphone which would go between these two, but I'm kind of cheating a little bit uh, because it's difficult to uh, do a video with about a, um, uh, a crystal radio and uh, just have the little earphone. So over here, I've got this little circuit board and um, it's uh, basically just a little uh, audio amplifier circuit. And uh, you can you can find these on um, on eBay there fairly inexpensive and the more you buy the uh, cheaper they are so I think I bought uh, 10 of these little modules and if you bought uh, 10 of them I think they're a dollar a piece which is actually um, less money than the uh, the audio um, IC so uh, which I think is uh, what is that an LM386 I think uh, what that is so yeah, it's a pretty good deal and it's kind of neat because then you can amplify your um, uh, Crystal radio and uh, hear it on the, the speaker here um, I mean kind of just tune it up and down and around and uh, I did have um, uh, WLS um, I believe that's in Cincinnati um, Which was pretty good because uh, I'm, I'm here in Michigan, so that's pretty good for uh, Crystal radio as far as the antenna goes. It's just a uh, antenna uh, outside a vertical antenna outside um, just got it going from the basement to some uh, coax and I just got it clip leaded right on the uh, coax connector and then the ground I've just got that going to a, um, a, a water pipe uh, here in the basement um, so it, it's not doing too bad um, uh, I, I don't think I was able to get uh, uh, WLS again I just happened to find it listen to it for just a little bit and then moved it around and see if I could uh, find something else and then just I don't think I've got it back again um, it does have a jumper here that you can install just temporarily and that that kind of helps it tune to the lower end of the AM radio band and without it it's more on the uh, the upper side um, and then this is just the variable uh, um, cap right here which, let me see what the range of that cap is. I, I'm trying to remember. It seems to me it was like about 50 picofarads or so, up to about 220 or something like that. Let's see if I can find it in the instructions here. Uh, yeah, 45 picofarads to. Um, 280 I believe is what it says um, the instructions are pretty uh, pretty good um, this is the basic just like a, a printout thing it tells you a little bit about the the circuit and what crystal radios are and a little history there um, then it just goes into the uh, assembly gives you the bill of material and then the step by step of how to put it together. It talks about installing a good ground and uh, your antenna um, and it shows you the, uh, the basic uh, schematic here at the end. There's not a whole lot to, to it and like I say in the end here it's just got the uh, like a photo with where everything is um, and the values and so forth so it's a pretty easy um, kit to build and uh, I think if you build it, you'll be able to pick up um, stations without too much problem. Um, particularly uh, a local station wouldn't be too much effort, I don't think. Um, depending on the antenna and your ground, you know, you might get something a little further away like I did tonight. But uh, 
you know, for AM anyway in the evening and uh, particularly in the winter, um, the signals are, are better. Of course, uh, WLW um, is um, yeah, a powerhouse, a 50,000 watt station, so um, that's probably why I was able to pick it up. But anyway, um, I just thought I'd turn it on and kind of tune it a little bit and see what we can pick up. I don't know how the audio is going to turn out. I mean, even with this amplifier, there isn't really a super a lot of volume out of here and it's not super clear um, sometimes you pick up a couple stations at the same time that sort of thing um, so we'll give it a try and uh, and see what happens so I've just got this being powered by a uh, little lab bench power supply um, I think I'm I don't know put six or seven volts in it right now so uh, it'll operate under those conditions um, so let me turn it on and, and see what we can get well, I got a faint station right now. I don't know if that's being able to be picked up or not by the microphone. I think I've got two stations there. You can hear one fainter in the background. Yeah. Guess I better be moving on or I'll be getting a copyright violation there. Alright, I'll remove this clip and then we should get stuff more towards the upper portion of the AM broadcast band. quite sure where this station is but um, it's um, it's coming in pretty good um, I did attempt to use another radio and try to figure out what station I was on, on I was eh, 
somewhat uh, successful partially. Um, the problem is all the syndication. It's hard to tell <laughs> which uh, radio station you're listening to and they all have the same program on. So. WSM, but I'm not sure. The audio lamp here also has a, a gain control or a volume control here, a little pot. You can adjust that, how much gain you want. Anyway, so uh, anyway, that's the little uh, short of radio. It's, um, it's called the uh, Little Wonder Crystal Set. And I've had this for quite a number of years. Not sure if the uh, Crystal Radio Society um, still makes it or not. Um, I didn't look, but it, uh, their website is www.midnightscience.com. Um, and it's the uh, Little Wonder Crystal Set. And on the circuit board it says it's an XS402. So I guess that's the, the model number or whatnot. So anyway, I just started... Uh, I'll show you guys this little crystal set. It's kind of fun playing with these, and uh, maybe I'll get another one out and and try uh, some more experiments here. But uh, if you have any comments on crystal radios or what uh, what your building experience has been and what kind of kits maybe you put together, that'd be good to know too. So uh, until next time, this is the Radio Geek. <laughs>